Hi everybody, I'm Dee. Welcome back to the New Earth community. Now today we're going to be jumping into your energy as well as theirs to see what the message is today. Details to booking, um, myself or the image reading, all in the box. Now I am taking a pause on um, counselling. So if you would like to look into and book your next counseling session check out the website Sophia does drop it all in the box for you um, and I would always suggest to to book who you resonate with okay energy aligns for a reason um, everything happens for a reason all right now there is a lot happening within oh God the energy it's always you know it, it, it's as above so below you know it's it's understanding the planetary systems as well as you possibly can i know it does help me um to understand the shifts last week we did have a solar eclipse and today we have a lunar um solar the sun card you know we're talking about um, our happiness clarity um the masculine aspect um the sun card you know the actions we take towards our own happiness um the healing the alignment how we celebrate life um what success is to us in the most purest of all forms right um and now we're getting checked <laughs> within a lunar eclipse which is happening today um which is all about the shadow, right? Um, your emotions, your ties to the past. Why are you giving me that? This, your south nodes. Um, there's a lot happening with an astrology right now. I know Andrea does planetary updates as well as she talks. So thank you so much, ladies, for for doing that um but check everybody out in the community um everything is there within the boxes okay so we have abuse and sexual abuse negativity that needs to be transmuted check out the sex mastery program and this and we have stopped procrastinating time to start mission right the mission is always to align with oneself and when we have negativity within us and we've been um in and amongst negativity we've been doing the same uh, belief systems we've believed about our own lives and then we've then done the same thing right we've we've, we've continued the pain we've continued the the format of doing things and if it's done in a i don't know how else to say it in a negative way towards self because when you go against yourself it's negative when you've been taught to do that because you have suppressed emotions you don't know how to feel about yourself you know you've adapted um the 3d way of of looking at your own life you're not aligning with oneself and it's our responsibility to do it within our own right and we we can't do this alone right we have to suggestion to do so right there's 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 reasons to why you've come across this channel there's reasons to why i initially came across this channel um many many years ago and i'm still continuously um working on myself to become that better person for myself as well as to now show up um, for other people, you know, other people within my immediate, um, uh, you know, the person that I want to be with, um, the children that, uh, my children, you know, my children, the children that um, chose me, you know, um, because we all choose our bloodlines, um, as well as the community, you know, because I'm, I'm very selective of who I have in and amongst me. And I've moved away from other uh, situations, you know, in my life to, you know, the family that I was 
I experienced my my family life with, you know, and my childhood. Um, friends and everything's an experience. And once you can understand that for yourself, everything is an experience to have more awareness. Um, that's when you're able to start making changes. Because in those moments, the two of wands, you can either revert back to what you've been shown to be or you can take a new direction. But it's about having that awareness. It's about being able to have awareness. You know, it's about accepting everything for what it is and for, forgiving oneself. Um, and this is all a process. This is why counselling is 100% needed. For those of you that are in and amongst counselling, um, I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and check out the acceptance audio um, and go through that and work through those teachings that Sophia does guide you through, as well as um, forgiveness and, and control. Because it's all about learning how to to release release control um all right let's jump in deeper 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 and it's all about the mission that you take within your life to start addressing the areas in your life that you're needing to address you know your mission is to live your life the best way that you can for your better good um, why are you giving me the star card? You know, the, it's identifying you and your higher self. You know, we're experiencing right now a transit, which is, um, going to be theoretically cemented in next year. Um, but we're getting a taste of it. Aquarius and in Pluto, um, in Scorpio, and it's understanding, you know, your higher self. Either you can be renewed, um, because you're giving me the star card right now, either you can have hope, right? And it's about facing where you feel as if you have no hope, you know? It's about healing and having the faith where you need to go deep within yourself and you got to go through the darkness and you got to accept it to learn to transmute it to release it okay definitely check out counseling here because that's what's needed i'm um, definitely the suggestion to do so because it's it's coming out of the dark you know it's it's going through the darkness it's, it's it's coming out of feeling stuck on situations in every situation that you feel stuck in. You know, if you're stuck in a family dynamic, you know, you got to understand what it is to release that control, to release why you feel as if you're stuck in that situation or um, any aspect to your life where it's resonating with, right? It could be your health. It could be your decisions in life, you know, your mental... Um, your mental health, you know, and, and it's about understanding the south node, okay, your experiences within child, your childhood, the south node can be represented by many things, you know, past life, um, childhood, the subconscious, you know, the, the emotions, the lunar, the moon, um to then how you show up in life right the what moves you take to go towards your happiness the stability the clarity you have within your own okay and this is currently transiting through pluto which is the outermost planet you know scorpio i understand that so i'm a sun sign in scorpio um you know, Scorpius for say my ruler. And it's about transformation. 
but again you got to go through the darkness you know all right let's jump in and it's about finding acceptance in all that of where you are at right now um to be able to release the control and it's a learning process okay let's jump in their overall energy towards you we have the magician and we have the ten of cups whatever situation that they're caught up in right and guys the more that you can understand the deeper that you are working within yourself this reading as well as everything that's posted here is an opportunity for you to take things deeper for yourself Wherever you're seeing a nightmare situation in your life, your person is mirroring um, to you where you're at within your mind capacity, right? To where you feel stuck, where you feel hopeless, right? Because it's your mind. It's dealing with your mental um, health at the end of the day, right? Because your thought forms are not of yours. Your thought forms are literally somebody else speaking what you're needing to how you live your life how in every retrospect to life right or it's the the concepts of what you developed within what society fed to you this is what you need to be and this is what you're not right all of this is either one it's creating a nightmare situation for you right your person wants to manifest here right the their emotional fulfillment with you so understand what the masculine is teaching you right now your masculine is teaching you to manifest right by understanding all of the tools that you have within your life that you were given as a free sovereign uh, a free sovereign soul to manifest what you want on this planet but your for say the pentacles your experiences that you have on this planet cannot define you do you have to um, suggestion to do so face them accept them go within face that fear release that emotion to get to the acceptance right that these events that are happening within the 3d are opportunities for you to grow are experiences and they cannot define you because when they define you you have that limiting air mind frame that causes a nightmare situation for yourself right your feeling frequency must be of of healing right because what each and every one of us have experienced as trauma within love because it's different for everybody that must be healed and then it's understanding you know, to have acceptance in life, to understand that everything's an experience, is then bringing in wisdom into your life to be able to correct and make different decisions and actions within our life so that we can start showing up differently, right? So if you've, if you've learnt um to think little of people you got to understand why you feel that way why you think that way because it all comes down to rooted belief systems and like i always say it's always wounding with a limiting belief system it's understanding right that your person is teaching you how to manifest your um complete emotional a happiness within your life because they want that with you and they're here they're teaching you right now to address every aspect within your life to do it for yourself yeah in order for you to start doing that it's about getting into again right facing those fears understanding what it is to tame your own self understand what it is to nurture right what you didn't learn in life to nurture your own passions wants wishes and desires 
and to come out of the inner conflict to, to charge forward and it's to get the courage to do so and it's allowing yourself that time to process things you know I've gone back to these programs time and time again and the more that I do so the more that you know I understand about my own self and and my own journey and then I can start appreciating to to get to the opportunity and the t and the space within my own self to then have complete awareness because that is when you're able to shift that is when you're able to start transmuting everything that you have learned to be which has only been hurtful towards your own self and then hurtful towards others that's when you are able to break um belief systems that are completely embedded why are you giving me the star card again because it's it's about understanding yourself as that star seed you know it's connecting you and your higher self it's coming out of not having the faith and feeling stuck there's something else but it'll come up mutual energy once we're able to leave because in the in the right awake deck there's like i don't know if there's one behind here there's like a town or buildings and for me, I'm repre that's representing um, structure. Why are you giving me Saturn? Things that we try to control, the 10th house, which is Capricorn. Saturn's also connected to the tower. No, that's Mars. Sorry, I'm getting all confused. Um, it'll come back. But this is about coming out of the belief systems and charging forward. And this takes strength. You know, when when you got to dig deep within yourself. This is what it is. You got to face your deep fears your deepest of all fears to be able to start showing up in life the way you want to right and it's all about how you nurture and love because this is mutual energy and where they're at right now they're wanting to manifest everything with you absolutely complete emotional fulfillment with you But in order for them to start showing up within this connection, they've got to start showing up for their own selves emotionally here in order to show up and, and come towards you the way that they want to come towards you because they need to leave those belief systems as well. They're needing to leave those belief systems to whatever has them over there right because for some of them it's being a twin flame dynamic it's going to be more than one it, well and truly there could be a connection over there it could be their lifestyle um you guys know right and in order for them to come forth here because this, the Ten of Cups here with this One of Cups here makes the Ace of Cups. they got to start showing up for themselves emotionally. And this takes time. Give me their next move towards you. They're quiet. Because for me, I feel as if right now, these energies don't just apply 
to you, the viewer, right? These energies apply to everybody that's on this planet right now. People go through things at their own pace. And the more that we can have compassion towards others and have awareness to do so, to come out of ego, to understand what it is to reflect, the more that we can start show up for our own self, this is where we can start showing up for others, right? And again, they're giving me the star card. That's when you truly understand what it is to become a human, a humanitarian. Because they're assessing everything that where they're committed to right now isn't what they truly want. And this is life transformation. What the energy is is brewing up within everybody right now is an opportunity to truly transform how you start showing up in your life. Either you're connecting with you and your higher self and you're you're putting to death all of those inner beliefs that don't serve you in life and you're going through that rebirth because the star card which is connected to air aquarius it's also renewal you know and pluto is also connected to the judgment you know it's rebirth this is all about fucking transformation right to what you're committed to in life to what you want to be committed to in life either you're understanding that you're connecting the dots there and you can appreciate that so then you can start showing up as caring and loving your own life as a human being so then you can be that towards others that's where you really start showing up as a star towards yourself and towards others what we don't see coming we have the lovers and we have the five swords either we can understand what this connection is here to teach you right through the choices that you make to how and what they're showing you to do through you know the triggers or where things are not are at within your mind frame of things because it's all about acceptance if you guys have those audios go back through them right utilize this time to go back through the programs connect yourself with um anybody that you want to book counseling with right because this is about coming out of all the mental conflict of feeling defeated and understand what it is to start choosing love right to how we start showing up for our own selves each season prepares us to the next right we're currently in Taurus you know Taurus is connected to the Hierophant you know the traditions the, the commitment what we're confined to right which is theoretically all of that right either we're committed to living a life for our own self and it's okay not to know it all you know if anything if you can go back into your childhood or your adult life where you had a dream you had a dream that was so vibrant and exciting within your own life. And then those times where, you know, somebody came along and squashed it for you or you lost faith or you thought that that was so unreachable. It's about tapping into that energy and understanding I must tap into that within my own self to understand what it is to start showing up because within those moments you lost yourself through what you were experiencing at that time to what society taught you about yourself and again this is about you understanding your star right 
and as we're we're going to be shifting through to gemini season which is the lovers it's about the choices that we make you know the duality of, of of situations right and i feel as if that's why we're having you know we've got a, we had a solar eclipse last week and now we're well, the energy is always but now this week today it's it's the lunar eclipse it's understanding duality one you know the one darkness and light cannot exist without one another you know, and this is why the counterparts is, are here. It's all about the choices that we make. <clears throat> Either we stay defeated in life or we understand what it is to, to choose to make better choices and to come out of whatever we feel conflicted, whatever is a nightmare situation. It's always about transmuting it. Let's get more messages for you. <clears throat> right, we have yes right this is about tapping into that energy that you can and everywhere that you feel as if you can't you must you must for your own better good for 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 how you show up within your own life like for your own dreams for your own wishes and desires um start discovering that you can Right, and you got to make that conscious choice to look into that, to go into the darkness. And this is again why counseling is so needed. Right, look for the signs, like because the universe is giving you the awareness of what's happening right now. There's something better, right, for your direction. Right, if you're in and amongst situations, family, friends, job, your health, your mental health, your well-being. All these aspects within your life must be addressed for your own better good, okay? And it's about connecting with upstairs. Let's get messages from them. Over this past week, I've been revisiting a lot of, a lot of things. And all I can be grateful is for the lesson to have awareness to understand what it is to start showing up you know <clears throat> we have i do see twin flame signs so your person right they're getting <clears throat> the synchronicities to remind them of the choices that they make right and just like you you guys go through it so when they're quiet understand they're going through it and if you need help with this right and if that triggers you it's okay you don't have to do it alone this is why um, the Facebook group is here you can book the services everything is here for you right please give me time to heal my past pain I feel as if this is definitely you give yourself that space that time to search it within yourself you don't need to rush right the more that you can understand that for yourself is when you really start showing up, okay? Details um, to Infinite Light, if you'd like to check me out there. Everything is in the box. Take care, and I'll see you soon.